Hey folks, DJ with the Rob School Garage, and today we're going to be uh, installing the hidden winch mount plate um, on my 2013 Ford F-150, and hopefully I can do it by myself. If not, I'm going to uh, enlist my brother to come over and help me, but uh, we're going to see if I can't do it by myself. It might be a little hard, but we'll try. So uh, let's get moving. <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, um, I just want to show you real quick where the winch plate's going to sit. It's going to sit right down inside there. Now, this is the uh, 2013 Ford F-150 with the 5 liter in it. Um, I've heard that the turbo diesels have some issues with the mounting plates. I've heard people can make them work. I don't know. But this is the 5.0. So here we go. Yep, that's where it's going to sit. and. Uh, the fair lead and everything will come right out of this slot right here. So, back up. You can see this, this little slot right there. So, let's go ahead and get the winch plate out and have a look at it. Let's see if we can get this open. Pops off with some staples. And some tape. There it is. There's the winch plate. Looks like it's upside down right now. I'm thinking, I'm guessing, I have no clue yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it comes like that. And then you got the box back here. With, uh, I guess all the mounting hardware, probably instructions and things like that. Let's check that out. Yeah, yeah, plates. The, uh, so you can sit this up. I guess it's gonna go right here where these hooks are. So we'll have to be taking these off and then this slides up in the channel up there to, to secure the winch plate itself. But uh, it's fairly heavy. I mean, you know, probably weighs a good 50, 60 pounds at a minimum. Um, and you can see it's pretty thick too. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get this booger installed. So stick with me. Here are the instructions. It shows the plate and all the accessories, and uh, right here is your list of um, uh, parts or wrenches and tools that you'll need. So it looks like you got here um, a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, 15, 16 millimeter wrench socket, 3 8 wrench, 3 quarter wrench, and a reciprocating saw or body saw. Sway. I don't know what sway means. <laughs> body sway? Huh, who knows? Um, but I do have a reciprocating saw, so no problem. Uh, so, all right, that's the instructions. And uh, when you open it up, it kind of walks you through step by step. So we're going to go ahead and follow these. First thing it says is to remove the tow hooks. So with a 15 millimeter. So here's your tow hook here, your tow point. And you can see there's two 15 inch bolts that need to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those off. It's going to be hard to record it, so I'll let you know when I'm done. Quick tip, once you get the first bolt out in the front, the back one you just loosen up and this slides right back backwards and then falls right off. Uh, it'll help when you're trying to get the rear bolt out. Well, I'm having a heck of a time um, getting these bolts out. They're super tough to get out, uh, mainly because the tip of the bolts are rusted. So I'm gonna put some PB blaster on it and uh, let it sit for 10, 15 minutes and then come back out and try again. All right, I highly suggest that um, once you get the first bolt out, this is what sits up inside the frame. And if you start to, to once the back bolt gets loosened up, this thing just flip flops around in there and it's hard to unscrew it, um, unbolt it. So what I did was I ran the, the front bolt that I took out, I just ran it back up in a little bit so that it would hold this plate still while I took the back one out. And there we go, we got the, we got this tow hook off, and now we're going to work up on the uh, second one. We've got both the tow hooks off now, and man, let me tell you, that was not easy. Um, it's just four bolts, but, you know, being an older truck, those bolts did not want to come out. Um, so now let's move on to the next step, which says to remove the rubber, lower rubber shield. So this lower shield here this lower piece of uh, rubber it's got several um one two 
three trim pieces that are holding it in. So I'm going to use this and then just pry the front of it off and let it hang. And I don't know if we reinstall it or not, but we'll find out. They didn't mention this in the instructions, but this piece has to come off also. It's basically held on by um, two bolts that run through these holes, one on each side, and um, held on by a 15 millimeter nut. And I had to use a deep well socket to get to that nut. Um, you could probably get a wrench in there, but it's better to have a 15 millimeter deep well. And now I can try to slide my plate up into there. So let's uh, see if we can get that figured out. I'm leave you on for that one okay let's see if we can't just slide this up into place it's gonna be hard to do by myself but i'm gonna give it a whirl this thing's pretty heavy oh yeah there it goes yep here it is Okay, now, how am I going to get it to stay up here? <laughs> That's the trick, isn't it? Where's that bolt? There it is. That one. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, I see how to do this now. Let's uh, stay there for a second. So, when you take the um, two nuts off of the piece I was just showing you, I don't know where the other nut went now. When you take the two nuts off, keep them handy because you can put them right back on to hold the plate, the winch plate in place. I don't know where I did. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, let's try that again. And I don't even know, I don't even know if I'm using the right holes. All I know is, I just want it held up there in place so I can see what it looks like. Come on, you. There you go. Okay. There we go. Huh. This sits kind of low, doesn't it? I guess it'll raise up once I get it bolted on. Yeah, it'll raise up quite a bit once I get it bolted on. But that's it. Um, looks like you you can do it with one person if you need to. I highly recommend having a second person, but if you don't, well... <laughs> You can do it by yourself. So this, the mount comes with this and uh, a new bolt. So because where the plate hooks up, it's in one of the different locate, one of them is a different location than where the tow hook came out. So it's further back. So you take this, you stick this all the way back in the frame and then you put the bolt in it through the last hole. So then we're gonna do that now. As you can see it fits up in there pretty good um, I'm probably gonna have to cut this off I don't know if it's gonna do you know make a lot of noise when you're when you're going down the road we'll see but um it looks like winch plates in there pretty good and uh, I still haven't tightened everything down but I want to show you I just wanted to show you the bottom what it looks like um, and apparently you can put your tow hooks back on or your <laughs> so um, what you got is same thing, 
Same way you pulled these off, just put them right back on with the same hardware. You've got this bolt here, which you pulled off when we pulled out the uh, shield. I'm gonna take that back off and put my shield back up. And then you got the new bolt here, which goes into another hole and where you use that long uh, bar that has the nut on it. And then you just tighten the whole thing down, you're good to go. So yeah, that's it, it's simple as that. And uh, uh, when I get done, I will come up and show you where this actually sits because it's sitting low right now. So give me a minute to get these all tightened up and I'll come right back. All right, there it is. It is installed. Uh, everything's tightened down. You can kind of see how high it sits. It's high, plenty high enough. Um, once I get the uh, fair lead on there and everything, it should look pretty good. Um, one thing I noticed though, was that I have the transmission cooler and I can't see the back bolts. I mean, I can see them, they're there for the winch, but I don't know if that's gonna affect these two right here or not. Um, Cause this one's covering it up. So I may have to find a way to reroute that. Uh, I don't even know if it's possible, but yeah. Um, hopefully my winch plate will just slide right up underneath it and I'll be able to bolt it in with no problem. But that's for another video. So stay tuned for the next one, which should be the winch install. All right, if you guys could go ahead and like the video, uh, share it if you know anybody who needs to install one of these and their F-150. And uh, like I said, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you aren't. I would appreciate it. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one.